One of the things that I think is really important is not only to allow diverse people to participate in governance, but also to let them know that there are places that they can do that. Um, and I was thinking, you know, if I didn't know about diversity on board, I wouldn't actually know that organizations want people like me to sit on them. So it's great for awareness for those organizations, but then also it provides an opportunity for us to actually participate in those organizations. My family, my wife and my kids are really used to that. They, you know, I'm always involved in something so they can see that and I want them to see that there's more to life than just, you know, what's in front of them. I work with children and youth and it's important for them to see that. So it's not just restricted to my own immediate family, but to the circle that I'm engaged in as well. I think that by serving on these boards, I have made a great impact. I've certainly brought my experience to the, the organization. I brought my perspective to the organization as well. In my case, I think it's really important. I always feel a little left out. When I, I sit on this large organization and there are only two visible minorities in there. So I really feel that like I have to make sure that I'm on my best behavior, first of all, because somehow you always end up being the representative of your race when you're in that kind of a situation. So it's really important. But I think I'm representing people who don't usually have a voice at those tables. And so I want to make sure that my voice is articulate and that I do represent well um, those people who don't normally have a voice. I also want to make sure that by seeing me at the table, they welcome the person that follows me at the table because they can say that, you know, these groups, these marginalized, these diverse, these visible minority groups can bring something valuable to the table and I want to make sure that they see that so that they look forward to my successor. My term with the Ontario College of Teachers is coming to a close. You're only allowed to serve seven years and I'm just about five and a half. So I'm really, really excited about where I will be placed next. My name is Danny Ankle and I'm a council member with the Ontario College of Teachers.